It's your girl T here back with another Tuesday Tea Time video. I know y'all are having a beautiful blessed day because we're tea timers. It's absolutely what we do. Our affirmation of the day is why do my dreams come true? Why do all my dreams come true? We're tea timers so our dreams always come true. I had a subscriber question to explain what dreams mean so to speak and this is not an old question. This is a question that happened or this is a question that I get asked quite a bit from before and we're revisiting it now. In short, dreams have a lot of different interpretations and it is one of those things where I'm not a dream analyst. I have watched a lot of videos from dream analysts analysis, a dream analyst, and a lot of people have different theories on dreams. My personal opinion, because it's my channel, is that I feel like when your subconscious is imprinting and you see your affirmations being said in your dreams or you have situations come up in your dreams that you're affirming for, etc., that that means your subconscious is imprinting. In my experience, when affirmations are being said in my dreams or circumstances are arising in my dreams that I have been manifesting towards. They seemingly happen shortly thereafter. So that's been my belief system around dreams. I also think logically to myself, if you are listening to subliminal tapes before you go to bed or during your sleep and you're waking up uh, to you know, a seemingly new thought process than you did the night before, then obviously your dreams are going to get mixed in with that somewhere. So in my personal opinion, I believe that when you're seeing things that you're manifesting within your dream, it means your subconscious is imprinting because at night your subconscious is wide awake. So of course, when you're looking in on what your subconscious is brewing, if part of that is your manifestation or your thought process around it, it would make sense that your subconscious is imprinting overnight. Therefore, you have to remember too that everyone's going to have a different take on dreams because it means different things to different people. I know in the native culture, they have a very rich um, interpretation of dreams and dream catchers and so on and so forth. There's a lot of artistic people uh, like Beethoven, Mozart, uh, different people who made really big inventions who would wake themselves up at three in the morning or subconsciously wake themselves up because you can literally before you go to bed say subconscious wake me up that t at this time and I always do that when I have to wake up early and your subconscious like an alarm clock will wake you up. So I know a lot of very artistic people would set themselves up to be awoke to be woken up at like three in the morning because that's when their best ideas would come to them and they would write down everything that they were thinking at that time and either go into a meditative state or go back to sleep but have a notebook of the thoughts that they thought at three four in the morning because that was in their words the most creative time for them and where the when their best ideas came forth so I definitely think there is some I definitely think that there is some, um, it's fair to say that dreams do have bearing on what it is that you're manifesting, on what it is that your subconscious is thinking, on what it is that, you know, you are dominantly focusing on. But I don't have a ton of background in analyzing dreams and I've only watched a few things here and there on it because I really do believe that everything is an interpretation of whatever you make. I don't believe that anything has meaning until you assign it as such. So I feel like whatever you dominantly believe about dreams is what your dreams are going to be for you. Like if you share my, if you share my um, thought process that when you see something in your dreams that you're manifesting, it's going to come quick, then so it be. If you think that it has no uh, link between the two, so it is. If you think that dreams are just dreams and they mean nothing, so it is. I remember Denzel Washington saying, your dreams are a preview of what's to come. He always believed that. And he said whenever he'd get like big roles and such like that, he would see it in his dreams before it would actually manifest. So we all have different ideas about what dreams mean but at the end of the day we've all come to know that 
our reality is a projection of what we believe it to be. So therefore, with dreams, I feel it would be no different. If you believe certain things about your dreams, then that's what they are going to mean to you. Some of us don't even believe, some of us don't even remember our dreams. For a long time, I wasn't remembering a lot of my dreams. But that's another interesting thing that now when I'm really going hard on manifesting something, I will remember each detail of my dream and how my manifestation played out in that dream. So that also supports it's a confirmation bias, my theory that your dreams will give you a preview that your manifestation is on or around the corner. Take what you will from what everybody says about any specific topic, because in the end, your reality is only a reflection of what you truly believe. So if dreams to you are a preview or are the coming attractions to what's next for you, let it be so. If you have no meaning attached to dreams, let it be so. If you believe your subconscious is just dumping out all the garbage in your dreams, let it be that. If you have a more mystical or uh, a richer explanation of dreams, let that be your explanation. There's no right or wrong here. It's just whatever makes the most sense to us and how we we look at things uh, in a way that's going to help us or maybe we're neutral towards it so it doesn't do anything in terms of our reality. But that is definitely my take on dreams. I believe that it is a confirmation, so to speak, of your subconscious imprinting. And so it's kind of telling you this is working. Your subconscious is taking on this new belief and this manifestation should be popping up any day now. So that's my take on dreams. If y'all have differences of opinion, put it in the comments below. I love hearing other people's viewpoint. And if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I love y'all, but not as much as you should be loving yourselves. Have a beautiful, blessed Tuesday. Bye.